Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring Lichdom. If you haven't seen part 1 of my review featuring this solo or competitive role-playing game where you play as a sorcerer that is dedicating his or her life to transform into a lich, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about how the Deck of Doom drives gameplay. Each turn of play you draw a card from the Deck of Doom to face the next event in your story, or find out what resources become available from engaging in unscrupulous schemes and foul rituals. The meaning of each card is described in a specific section of the book. The cards include leading questions to shape your world, and a few options to define the flavor with random standard events and random challenges and other special cards. Once you have imagined what happens and how it connects to past events, you write an entry in your character's journal and or add enemies, allies, artifacts and other important story elements to your character sheet. Each turn loosely represents a year in the life of your sorcerer but you can link events as you play to create smaller narratives within your story that occur within a few months or even a few days at a time, only to jump several years ahead in time when you feel it's appropriate. Do not hesitate to adjust past events in order to better integrate new events in the story. The four suits of the decks, which are hearts, diamonds, clubs and spades, are grouped into two different natures mundane, which are hearts and diamonds, and arcane, when it comes to gloves and spades. Additionally, cards of the same suit have a similar theme. For example, hearts, which are mundane, stand for social events, such as the service demanded by a warlord or the vile accusations of a king. Diamonds, which are also mundane, stand for violent events, such as a treacherous assassination attempt or an escaped monstrosity within your own tower. Clubs which are arcane stand for research events, such as reading a fabled book bound with human skin or experimenting with the alchemy of the flesh. Spades which are arcane stand for unnatural events, such as an abhorrent pact with a demon to slay your enemies or the perilous exploration of other realities. Your goal is to find several fundamental truths of reality before your resolve runs out or doom crushes your very soul. As soon as you collect at least a mundane truth and an arcane truth, which are represented by ace of hearts or diamonds plus an ace of clubs or spades, you can attempt to become immortal through lichdom. However, you can try collecting more truths to have a better chance of achieving your ambitious goal, even becoming a god in your own right. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to go in depth when it comes to the different meanings of specific cards. As you can see, the cards represent both the structure and the details of this game of your journey as a sorcerer trying to become this undead demigod or perhaps even a god of undeath. Every single situation and encounter is going to be colored represented by each of the cards that you draw and you will face these challenges which will determine the course of actions that you will take to turn yourself into a leech. Thank you for watching this part of the review. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. And thank you so much to those of you that have been supporting the channel by sending drive through RPG gift certificates. If anyone else wants to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. Once again, thank you and see you later.